most important thing in life to me is family. Especially when everything's going backwards. I grew up in Los Angeles in the projects. Mainly, I hung out with just my brothers and sisters. We was like our own little organization. We played ball, hide and go seek, dominoes, because there's so many of us in one house. We argued, but um, <laughs> we still stuck as one regardless. We come here together, we leave here together. At the end of the day, that's family. But we grew up, and I thought hanging out with the wrong people, making bad decisions, my father came to me one day and told me that if you don't change your life, you're gonna end up in jail or dead. So I joined the army. Once I made it through basic training, the people that I go on deployment with, people that I sleep in the woods with, they were the type of friend that's like family. We come here together, we leave here together. It helped me physically and mentally, the military did. But when I went in, I had two kids. My son was born one month prior to me going. And, but I was so anxious to get back to be with my family, I decided not to re-enlist. So if I came home, I ended up being a supervisor for nine and a half years. My life was great. But then I got sick, just stressed out, and I wasn't able to work because of my mental state. It was straight down here from there. I lost my job and my wife too. That's what I was talking about, everything started going backwards. Eventually, I couldn't pay the rent, so I took the last of the money I had and went and stayed in my car. I could've went and stayed with my daughter, but I'm not gonna try to put my burden on no one else, especially my kids. So, but I never even told them that I was homeless. And one day I went to give me something to eat, and when I came back, my car was gone. Yeah. Whew. It can happen overnight. Once I lost that car, done. The only thought I was having was how I'm gonna survive tonight for the next day. You know, if you get on the train, you can ride back and forth on the train all, all day. I catch the train in the morning, some days, and I, I sleep. And then when it's the last stop at one o'clock, I, I go sleep on by a bench or something like that downtown. The longer you're out there, it changed the best person to the worst. Days I couldn't eat, paranoid, and just stuck. Stuck in the streets. One day I just was downtown and I heard daddy. And I looked, standing right there. I see my daughter. He was trying to like act like everything was okay. Like, oh, I'm just like, yeah, I was gonna call you and all that. Like, come on, I've been looking for you. It mainly was shocked that she found me. And now I'm in a situation that I'm in and didn't say nothing to her. Before that, we was talking every day. Then I didn't talk to him for a while, so I was wondering like, what was going on. I can never forget that, yeah. It was scary. It was scary. It was like, I couldn't really be okay because I didn't know if he was okay. How can you say this? It, it hurt for a, fa a son to pull up and to see a father, like, his spirit is gone and he's down and out. And it was like, damn, where your character at? Where your beast at? You feel what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I was taught better than that. I'm like, come on, daddy. What well, she say, I'm, uh, I'm going to take you to Long Beach VA because I heard they help homeless veterans. And the same day she took me is the same day I end up here. First thing that happened when I came here, one of the people in there said, you know they got clothes around there. I went over there and, and it was just like a little kid walking to a store. I got clothes, I got I got shoes, a jacket, I still got that jacket right now. A big brown, thick, warm jacket. Everything you needed for a home, they make sure that you got it. A bed, couch, 
Me, she the one girl working in the kitchen. She found out I like trinkets. You know, I like little items that you sit around. She gave me all of that. She got me everything. And the people here with the heart that they have. Remind me of the, the way the people was when I was in the military. Yeah, that's what yeah, with Maurice, get back. <laughs> <laughs> After a while, I started realizing that um, I'm safe here. From that day on, uh, I, I started um, volunteering. That's a way of showing my appreciation and giving back to the place and the people that gave to me. Because I've always been a person who cared for people, period. And all that came, it came back because I was here. I think the U.S. vest was the best thing that could have happened to him and for him. I see where he get his energy from. We talk a lot. We talk every day. You see my rock. <laughs> and my relationship with my kids and grandkids is totally complete. I fell down to zero. Now I'm back to normal. We come here together. We leave here together. We're all family. We're all family. I'm Patrick Carr Henderson, U.S. Army vet, trying to help the next veteran in any way that I can.